Hey, welcome. It's time for another one-off. We're playing Bump and Jump. I just saw uh, on the title screen a second ago, uh, made by Data East, so that's pretty cool. Uh, yeah, let's start before we have a fucking seizure. Okay. Oh, man. Yeah, I played this game uh, a lot. Not a crazy a lot, but uh, I used to be pretty good at it as a kid. I hadn't played it in for fucking ever. Okay, so we got... Okay, hold on. We got buttons, right? Okay. Oh man, okay. So we can jump, but we got, um... It took me a little while, uh, when I was playing the game as a kid to realize what was going on. I was like, why did, why does my car sometimes get big? Apparently I didn't understand the concept of, uh, that the car is just getting, um, like, closer to the camera since it's like an overhead shot. So I'm guessing the P is our fuel, and all we gotta do is not get rammed onto the sides. We can bump them into the, into the edges or whatever. Oh, fuck. We cannot bump that big guy. But yeah, I played this in uh, in Germany. And uh, was pretty good at it. I'm pretty sure... And I also played it on... I'm trying to think. I'm not sure if I had it as an adult. Uh, like an NES cartridge. But uh, I didn't own it as a kid, but I did rent it a bunch of times. And yeah, this game's really... It's almost like too... It's almost like... I played it when I was, like, almost too little for it to even be nostalgic. <laughs> but I, di I didn't own it, so... So, I mean, like, when you rent a game, you you do have nostalgic that you played it, but it's not nostalgic that it's, like, a big part of your childhood from, you know, being able to play it, like, every day or whatever. But, uh, yeah, I figured this would make a good one-off. I figured, I mean, I probably could play it. Yeah, you know, I, I like this game. I wouldn't mind playing it until I... I'm, I'm pretty sure you can't actually beat it. But I just don't think that gameplay-wise, it would be very fun to watch me uh, play it all the way through, since this is pretty much all you do. But uh, I'm always just keeping, you know... Oh, fuck. Oh, man. But uh, I figured for a one-off, yeah, this would be, this would be just, uh, just, the, uh, just the kind of game. Okay, I'm trying to not get... Uh... Oh, man. See, it's kind of... Oh, fuck you. I didn't know that they could do that. I forgot. Boy, that looks like a bush from, uh, from Lolo. Uh, which we're not going to play Lolo on the channel. Fuck that game. No, actually, that game is really nostalgic, but, um... It's pretty... It gets pretty tricksy. I was able to beat the first, I think, three or four worlds. Or, you know, like, sets of ten levels or whatever, but... I made it pretty far as a kid just from playing it so damn much, but... Uh, later on, man, it gets pretty fucking ridiculous. It gets pretty ridic... ridic ridiculous. Um, did not even start the damn timer? I did not, boy. How silly of me. I'm sure you guys can forgive me, seeing as this is my first LP, right? Okay. Oh, scene three. How many scenes are in this? Oh yeah, I remember this music. Uh, this music reminds me of... Hmm. I can't think of what this... This reminds me of a... Oh, man. Is it, um, a level from DuckTales, maybe? I, don't, I actually don't fully remember. Okay, basically, when you're in the air, you can't get bumped. So, especially in these, like, narrow sections, you want to... The only problem with being in the air is that you can't collect the, um, the peas. Like, right there. I missed two peas in a row because I was in the air so much. Okay. A little bit. Okay, luckily, this game isn't too fast. You do have time to react. Except I gotta, I gotta collect some peas, man. There we go. Hopefully that'll keep me alive till at least the end of the level. Oh, jeez. Now peas keep appearing in that, um, in that blue area. Oh fuck! Oh shit! I didn't have it. I couldn't jump. I ran out of peas. I'm pretty sure you need peas to be able to jump. And you also have to be going a certain speed to jump, I think. Yeah, I, I just missed too many peas. I was in the air too much. Oh shit! So, I was, yeah, I was just going to say, the blue areas... Holy shit. Wow. Okay, let's fucking try this shit again. Jeepers. All right, here we go. But, um... Well, why, why are we... Like, why do we just let them fucking escape while we were, like, stopped? But, uh, yeah, there were peas appearing in that blue area. That blue, little blue zone. So I was like, can we just touch the blue area? Maybe it just slows us down? But no, we fucking straight up die. It's a very dangerous road, just, like, the bridge is just out. Or actually, 
Actually, you no, know, this bridge is intact. Just the fucking road just stops. And there's this little island. And it's fucking weird. Okay, oh man, I am not good at collecting the peas, apparently. What is this? Okay, so I can, so I can break to collect this. So if I see a pea and I'm not going to reach it, I can break to buy me more time to get it. I don't think I ever did that, though. And I also technically don't know if you need to... See, that? there was a pea in the middle of the fucking water. How are you supposed to get that one? Oh, fucking idiot. Knocked me, uh... Uh... Oh, oh, damn it. I'm pretty sure you don't... Like, this first level isn't that hard. But yeah, my pea situation is not looking super great. Okay, cool. Oh, man, we did it. I am pretty sure that the, um... I'm not sure if this game repeats, like, infinitely, or if you actually can beat it. I think you can beat it, but I think the levels repeat a couple of times before you beat it. Okay. So we're back here again, and the fucking... It was, it was weird. It, they're trying to they're trying to make these these buildings look 3D, but it is kind of it is kind of weird. It's it's a weird it look it look it looks too it looks two dimensional. Like those like that yellow like these yellow yellow buildings off to the left. Those look two dimensional, cheapers. And also this bridge looks two dimensional. Like I wasn't fully understanding like what it was supposed to be. I think as a kid, this is a very dangerous road, by the way. Oh, dude, I keep forgetting about that. And you can actually see if it has a fucking load or not. Okay, come on. Can we just land on this asshole? Yeah. I wonder if he just waits for you to be behind him for too long before he drops it. Oh, oh, damn it. Like, it's weird because, like, you're safe in the air and you just get bumped around and ran- Like, oh, fuck, I didn't even see that. And get bumped into the fucking edge. So it's like death, so you feel safer in the air, but then... But then you miss all the peas. Oh yeah, fuck you. Okay, so I think the peas are maybe just random, because there's peas appearing in the middle of the fucking bridge, and there's peas appearing in the water. There's a pea at a place where it's past where the level ends or whatever, so... Okay, that level... Was that level really short, by the way? I'm not uh, entirely sure. Hey, can we get some... Can we get, like, a 1-up or some shit? I have to get 50,000 points to get a damn 1-up. Oh, I know what this game reminds me of. This, um... Or this music reminds me of. Um... It's a game where it goes... Oh, shit, I can't... Is it... Is it Bust a Move? I remember there's a game where, uh... Where it goes, ready... Oh. It, it, it goes, ready, go! And it kind of sounds like that. It does that in a really weird, specific way that I can't mimic, apparently. Okay. Oh, man. That, that's gonna bug me, what this music sounds like. Oh, well. Oh, shit! Almost landed on it. It's kind of weird how just, like, landing on grass would probably kill me. This and that Smurfs game are, like, the games where you just can die from touching grass. I didn't even know about that. I just saw a YouTube video. It's like just like the dumbest ways to die in video games. And there's just there's just some grass, and you can just die from touching grass. Hey, I beat that level, by the way. Was that there was something on the ground? It sort of looked like an ice cream cone. Is that a bonus? Is that just like a lot of points or some shit? Or what? What? What was that? It 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 was so fast. I didn't see what it was. Okay, I think this is the level that I started. I don't think I was on. I don't think I made it to this level very often. Those first three levels, uh, I played, like, a lot as a kid. So maybe this is where it started to get, like, more difficult. I can still land on the bulldozer. It's a very fast bulldozer, by the way. Okay, we gotta at least collect some of these damn peas. I gotta remember... Oh, shit. Man, you cannot touch that thing. If you touch that thing, you are going into the edge, man. Yeah, that thing pushed me all the way, like, across the fucking... It was in the middle, and I just touched it, and it, I just... It just bumped me into it, and I couldn't control it, so... Um, wow, we got halfway past the, uh, the high score, I suppose. Um, yeah, I mean... I think, I mean, I kinda... I think, uh, I think we can call this an episode. I mean, it's not usually very long. I usually set the timer for, like, 15 minutes. But, uh, I think you guys got the idea, and I'm not sure... 
what other kind of commentary I could provide on a game like this. It's just bumping and jumping, I suppose. And yeah, that's hence the name. So pretty self-explanatory. This is a good example of uh, when you know what the what the ti what the game is going to be like based on the title. Uh, I'm reading this book called uh, The Joy of Living, and it's made by uh, it was written by like a by a Buddhist monk. And apparently, see, this is not an example. Is my point. Uh, it's made by, or the, it's about, it's showing, like, the scientific, like, the medically scientific or whatever proven benefits of, like, meditation. So it's sort of, like, blending the the stuff that, like, you know, that Buddhist monks have known for, like, thousands of years or whatever. But then they didn't have, like, the science to back it up, and now, like, science is, like, proving that um, that meditation is effective, and it's just showing, like, the the you know, the physiological changes and like, it's showing how, like why it works and how it works instead of just saying, Oh, it works, but you have to be a Buddhist to, to do it, which you don't have to be by the way. Uh, but yeah, but I mean, uh, Pat Oswald made the, made, uh, made an observation. He go, uh, where a good movie that tells you what the movie's going to be like based on the title, uh, Texas chainsaw massacre. So yeah. So this is a good example. Bump and jump. It's bumping and jumping, jump and shoot, man. I always just think of that. I like that uh, sequelitis a lot. I've watched the whole thing maybe like three or four times already. And there's no reason for me to watch it. I've got the whole thing like almost memorized and I know what it talks about. It's just super fucking entertaining. I like it. I like I like, uh, like Aaron a lot, Eagle Raptor. But so, yeah, thanks for joining me on this, uh, this uh, video where I play a little bit and then watch the title screen for five fucking minutes. But uh, yeah, we'll call it, call it uh, a one-off here, a video, and we'll see you next time. Have a great day. Bye.